What's up, y'all? It's your boy Osiris. It is about 10. No, excuse me. Shit, I'm sleepy. It's about 2.30 in the morning. I'm packing out. I'm gonna take this trip to Los Angeles via I-10. I think we 85 to I-10. I mean, I don't know the route, man. I'm gonna use the I'm gonna use the, you know what I'm saying? All the dilly dallies up in here. I'm gonna try my best to vlog. We're gonna hit some rain. This particular camera doesn't have a case. But my older GoPro does, so it might just be me riding in the rain. I might have to do a voiceover or something like that. But anyway, I'm about, I'm already running about 15 minutes late. So let me put this camera up. It's going to be dark, so I'm not going to be doing a whole bunch of vlogging until it brightens up. Because uh, you're not really going to see much. So I got to go hurry up, make this kickstands up. And then we're going to get on with this trip, man. Probably going to make a couple stops. I think our first stop, our first overnight is in Houston. Then we kind of play it by ear by the end, and we should be, today is Tuesday morning, we should be in L.A. no later than Friday, because we don't take our time, man. You know, most of the time, I, you know, and on the other bikes, I didn't, I had like three, four day time span to ride, so I was kind of like killing it. I don't plan on doing it. I really only plan on doing an 80-85 and cruising right on through. So, we'll see you at the kick tag. First guy stopped $18.00.
right, sun is rising. So grand rising. Still in Alabama, right outside of Mobile. My bike is getting shitty ass gas mileage. It's only like 125 to 130. I'm supposed to be getting two something. So this is crazy. But I am enjoying the ride, man. It's not too it's not too cold. Just got up to 60. When we left, it was like in the upper 30s, lower 40s. Oh, it's not too bad, man. So hopefully this tank can get me past uh, <laughs> Mobile. daylight now so we have been moving for approximately oh no we're rolling for four hours 286 miles. Been moving for three three hours and 49 minutes of that, and stopped for about 17 minutes of that. Bike gets me in my left. You can barely see that. The only thing I could see was his tail lights. That's how that, that's how wide out it was as far as rain condition was concerned. But it's never a road trip. Never a road trip if it don't rain, man. If it don't rain, it ain't a road trip, man. Just out here trying to go find some yonder, go get some newspapers or something. You know what I mean? So we doing, you know, cruising along highway speeds. And, Says we should be in Houston around 444. I like the bow. What? 444. The universe is talking to me. So we should be in Houston around 444, give or take 30 minutes or so. So 445, 515-ish. Then go ahead and check in. But other than that, man, other than my fuel mileage being crazy. I started out in sport mode because I forgot because I've been riding around the sport mode and I literally got maybe 140 miles to the tank. Then I switched over to uh, to the tour to tour mode and it got damn near even worse. I don't know if it was a bad gas in me or we just going a little too fast. I'm in standard again and it seems like we're doing better. 
but um, it was so much stop and go, I don't really know. It was, that was during the rain and all that stuff, so I wasn't able to really get out there and see. But at this next fill up, hopefully this, this 109 that I say will take me on in to the gas station in Baton Rouge and uh, I can see him on the next one because we had to take all that rain gear off. But I bought them little, uh, them little booty, rubber booty things. I wish I could have caught it, man. I took one off one foot, damn up a water came out like a bucket of water. I'm like, man, that's defeated the damn point. Man, I could let my damn shoes just stay in the regular boots. If I know it's gonna be like that, now I probably got these thick ass socks that's probably drenched. The boots are definitely drenched, but we got what? Five hours and some change, five hours and some change, so hopefully they'll dry up by then, man. And I'll change up these socks, but it's something else to record. I will record. Got my GoPro up here, but yeah, it's damn near dead. You know, it's old school GoPro folk. You know what I mean? GoPro folk. But it's old school, it's down there dead, so. I'm trying to set my damn cruise. Got the GoPro in the way of me. But anyway. That's about it, man. I'm about to go back to singing in my dang old helmet. <laughs> we'll be back. Recording 75 miles until we can get back to I-10. We're on I-12 right now. I don't know if that last little video I tried to record recorded, but there's really not a whole lot out here except chill coat. <laughs> except chill coat. So there really ain't a whole lot to be recording, you know. I had to do a voice hold. It'll be my first voice hold. Yeah. Trying to catch up with these guys that came out of Florida, but they're literally about two hours ahead of us, man. So, yeah, they look a good 80 miles ahead of us. They stopped, but I doubt they're going to be there long enough for us to catch them. So, we either catch them or we're going to catch them. Catch them in the. Uh, 